One thing I was reading about this week, which seemed pretty interesting to me, was all this talk about the LK99 superconductor. I know it's one of those holy grail things within the physics world of creating a room temperature semi uh, superconductor. But, you know, this isn't the first time. They've, they've multiple, multiple people have produced the idea that they have created one, but this one seems to have more potential. There's already, I think, two people who said they have replicated this results, which proves there may be some validity in it. I was just thinking what was interesting. I'm not going to get into the technicals of this. I may do a hot take on it. I'm not sure. But what's more interesting is the timing. Uh, and I was talking to a colleague here before we did this broadcast. I was always wondering, why do they want to expose those aliens now? And I'm sure you guys, everybody always heard about aliens. Everybody heard of Project Blue Beam. Everybody has always anticipated this alien invasion. Alex Jones was talking about it 15 years ago. That the, the last thing the globalists are going to do is plot the alien invasion. And I get that too because they always need a war. When you study the globalists, they need a war. Not only for monetary reasons, but also for controlling the global dominancy. Globalists. Yeah. But what I thought was interesting is the timing. Because they could have said this alien stuff, put out these implants anytime. John Greer has been talking for like 20 years it's almost like he's just had to get the familiar face out there. So when it's time, everybody, oh, John Greer, he's talking about it. And now we have all these valid military people testifying in front of Congress. And I say, why? And I've been thinking this for months. Now it makes sense. Implants sometimes don't work. They get infected. Uh, depends on the surgeon even. Yeah, sometimes your body rejects it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It seems like this one may be starting to get defective. Well, I well I this think implant. it's one it's one of those long term things. It's almost like they had to make sure it lived. Yeah. But but anyways, what I thought was weird is if this is real, this will explain what you're going to see in the next eighteen to twenty four months. Lattices. You're going to see a lot of floating devices. <laughs> <laughs> I've been talking for maybe about three, three or four months. Like, why now? And it's what I believe now, since this con semi superconductor has come out, is they needed to propagate the acclamation to the public that it needs to be a common place for you to see non propulsionated flying devices. That means the government has technology now. Then can, they can start testing non-propulsioned aerial phenomenons, UAPs. And you're just going to think it's alien stuff. I was just thinking it's an interesting time frame. For the last six months to a year, they've been propagating, well, probably about two years, they've been really trying to introduce aliens are real. We really get government uh, people are exposing it. And then within the last three to six months, it's been heavy. Like now, every news channel, every day there's something more propagated on mainstream media. There are now uh, Congress testimonies. And now we have LK99. So my whole thinking is the government has been wanting to test more of this superconductor ability and possibly more aerial devices. But they can't without justification... Or people would freak out. But the more you acclimate something to, like habitually, the more it becomes nonchalant. It's like, oh, it's just another UFO. And then the government has the ability to do this without it being exposed. Because if too many people start filming this, it can be a national defense issue because it's just a phenomenon. Everybody, of course, is curious. But once you get, the people get used to it, well, people, who cares? They're not going to film as much. They're not going to pay attention as much. Then the government can test more. Now it's almost like aliens live among us. We're all familiar with it. Who cares? And now it makes sense. Now the LK-99 comes out. If it's real, that explains to me why the government is pushing so hard right now for you to believe in UFOs. You mean biologics? 
Well, that's just a level of the spooks. The non-human biologics. Yeah, the spookies. They just want you to add the layer of belief. But really all the government wants you to accept is that there's flying aerial phenomenons. So do you accept aliens in, into your heart right now? No, but I know the government wants you to believe it. Well, aliens believe in you. Well, it's the, it's the last layer. And that's one thing Alex Jones was saying for 15 years. And I, I'm not a big proponent for Alex Jones. I mean, he, there's things he said that, it, that was correlated. There's things he hasn't. But one thing he's always said was the last thing the government's going to do is the aliens. And I get that because wars with humans can only do so much until you disassociate the global aspect. Like if the world really wants to work together to dominate, they can't keep fighting each other infinitively. That's just actually slowing progress. So you need an outside source so you can create a unified world. Yeah, but every the whole world has to believe it. And I don't know if China and Japan... I think they all want to believe this LK-99 technology. And they have to give justification to their people. And they don't want the rest of the country... Yeah, so they're not going to think it's aliens. They're going to think, oh, those are no, all just... They just don't want guy. the rest of the country... Because think about it. Why, do we, why does every government hide their most prolific technology? It's because they don't want other countries to know they have that mm -hmm. technology. So it's not like China wants you... If they had these alien type of technology, they don't want America to know you have it. But if all the Chinese people were filming it, then America would have... Clearly, the CIA would know. So they need to hide this technology even from their own public. Every country does this. Russia does it. Every, nobody wants other countries to know their technology. You know, if they have Megatron in the ocean, they don't want people to film that. Well, what about the... You know, the uh, third world country people uh, who see these things floating in the sky. Like, they they don't know anything about any of that stuff. They don't even speak. They, some of these countries haven't even never seen a white person before. Yeah. They're going to look up at the sky <clears throat> and, excuse me, and they're going to see these. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Give it a great report. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to see these things flying overhead and they're, they're going to be like, oh. Creator. <laughs> yeah, but see, I think the Western world and, mo and mainstream media tries to make you think these people are ignorant, primitive, on purpose. So whenever they say something, you'll just say, oh, they don't really know what they're talking about. They don't know what they're seeing. No, the whole world's going to see it. And everybody's going to have these speculations like, well, it could be the government, it could be Yeah, aliens, but if it was in, it could be God. If it was in modern countries, that's when people start believing legitimacy because the government propagates. Yeah, but there is we're no coming options. Out of, we're coming out up front and telling you. There's Even, no options in the, in the countries I've never seen any other cultures. Like those, those cultures that are just living out there in the wilderness yeah. by themselves, isolated. There's no option. They're just going to see floating metal objects, and they're going to say that is creator. That they're going to create. A new if you're religion. talking about those indigenous tribes, and yeah, yeah, they're going to think it's just like what they've always seen. They will probably believe a comet is a deity or something because they they don't understand any technology. Yeah, and then they're going to get tractor beamed. No, that's fine. They're just going to see something. It's not going to do anything. You no, know, that'd be kind of cool if these these governmental crafts would actually pick all of these people up and just drop them in the U.S. So they could get educated. Yeah, I, I don't know about any of that either. <clears throat> and that's not what I'm talking about. But I, anyways, I just want to make this connection of correlation. So maybe it'll help some people who have been thinking about the same thing I have, which is timing. I always want time. I don't really believe in coincidence. Uh, I, I premeditate a lot of things. So I, I assume most People in the government premeditate everything. They do. On a high level. Yeah. And so when you see something, it's usually for acclamation, which is motive centric. And so therefore you need to ask like anything, what's the motive? And so when I look at timing and then there's correlation between timing and the ability for what the timing is used for. Like if you want to tell somebody in this instance, if you want to tell somebody aliens are real, even though they've been hiding it since the 50s. But now in 2023, they want to tell you aliens are real. And then a couple months later, they want to say, we have this technology that they're not going to say it. But and if you look, if you understand the technology, it's going to, its possibilities could elude the fact of something that could simulate alien technology. Those two things with the, the timing set just seems like this was premeditated 
and aliens were just acclamations for the public to get prepared for more common reoccurring visualizations of these unidentified aerial phenomenons as they now they don't want to say ufos but anyways well, i created just, the term so i don't know yeah. why it's yeah. well it's you know you can always look back to it's since project blue book not blue beam they've been changing these names for this alien investigation you know they actually recently made blue talkies too mm. it's kind of weird well that's i actually like blue talkies they they have they've had those for about a year but yeah yeah. At least from what I know. I mean, who knows? Maybe they've been around since the 50s. Since, uh, no, they probably just came out you Roswell know, again. Well, this LK-99 thing, you know, honestly, if it's real, it has so, many more, uh, so much more potential than people can think about. I mean, it's a superconductor. So literally what it means, it's the most efficient means of electric conductivity. There's no resistance. When you travel, when energy travels through your power lines, there's still resistance there. But a superconductor has zero resistance and it works at ambient temperatures. So it's plausible that it could be utilized all over the world. It doesn't be froze down to like negative 200 plus to produce this superconductive features. If you have ambient temperature superconductor, this can be used everywhere and anywhere. And so that's why it makes sense that this would work perfect for the government to utilize alien technology. And, you know, they, if it's being propagated now to the public, it's probably being a common notion amongst the governments. And this is coming out of South Korea. So this means this isn't a United States isolated agenda. If all this is real, then this is a global agenda. This is so you may start seeing these UAPs, not just in the United States, you might start seeing them everywhere all the time. Anyways, uh, it, it helped made some sense to me. And maybe that will connect some dots for you guys, but that's what I thought was interesting about all of that.